Welcome to Behold the Real Jesus Broadcast, brought to you by the Jesus Only Broadcasting Network, located at www.jobn.tv. Well, neighbor, we've been talking about the present truth, the preceding word of God that the body of Christ is walking in now. Present truth, walking in the light as he is in the light. That we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. We are going to offer this month an eight-hour preaching series on the present truth. The testimony of Jesus, the spirit of prophecy, as it pertains to the church of the living God, the body of Christ. So we want to bring you into a part of the live service where we are preaching the present truth for the body of Christ, the church of Jesus Christ, here in the last days, that, that every man will live by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. That will be our gift offer for this month on the present truth as it is now being revealed to the body of Christ. Well, with nothing further to say or do, let's go into one of our live broadcasts here at the Jesus Christ International Church at this time. You're made to set together in heavenly places what he wrought to usward when he set him in his own right hand and heavenly places to usward. Uh, we're made to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Uh, that is strong room revelation. You can't get it from denominations down here. It's only through the Holy Ghost. Uh, hallelujah unto God. And you must be willing to forsake all, sell all, give up all uh, to follow Jesus. What is that work? It's a work of king, priest in the last days. Uh, for the uh, they will be kings and priests, and we will reign uh, on the earth. We will reign on the earth. They came to Jesus and said, uh, you blaspheme, because thou being a man, makest thyself God. Uh, no, he, he's God and made himself a man and went back to his former glory. You got it all messed up. Uh, you got the court before the horse and the horse before the cart. Uh, he is that man that is God uh, that came down, took on a body of flesh and blood, uh, and then died and went back to his former glory, glorified with the Father's own self, made both Lord and Christ. The blessed and only potentate, King of kings and Lord of lords, who only hath immortality, dwelling in the light. Now, we, dwelling in the light which no man. You mean that man Christ Jesus is in that light? That's what we're saying. You're saying that man Christ Jesus is the Father of glory? Yes! Yes! Any other thing is a liar and a cheat, straight out devil. Well, my pastor's a good man. All of man's goodness, there's only one good, and that is God. Amen. All the righteousness of man is nothing but filthy rags. Melchizedek, Melech, King, Zedek, righteous. The newborn babies desire the sincere miracle of the word, they may grow thereby. But strong meat belongs to them that are of full age. And there's three different growth cycles. I write to you little children because your, your sins are forgiven for his name's sake. You've been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you got the Holy Ghost. Your sins are forgiven for his name's sake. Your little children sucking on that milk bottle. But you can't stay there. I write to you, young men, because you have known the Father. Oh, he's the Father of glory. Now you're young men. But now I write unto you fathers. Why? Because you've known him which is from the beginning. You know that from the beginning? From the beginning, that is the Son of Man who's been from old, from everlasting. It's the word, it's the life, it's the light. The beasts have eyes before and behind. The eyes are the eyes of revelation. So I'm speaking to you today about the Ain, the fountain of an eye. If thine eye be single, thy body, the whole body is full of light. But if thine eye be darkness, how great is that darkness? I'm not talking about your eyes that you look out. Jesus said, what I see the Father do, that's what I do. He didn't look at the Father to see what he was doing. 
That's the eye of his spirit. What I see the Father do. In other words, moving everything he did was moved by God himself. Every move he made revealed God. From the aloft to the top, the alpha to the omega, the beginning to the end. He said, those that are full age are weaned from the milk. But the babies, the babies are unskillful. The ones on milk are babies and are unskillful in the word of righteousness. The word of righteousness. What is that? Word of righteousness. They're unskillful in it. Well, he that knew no sin became sin for us. That we might be made the righteousness of God in him. We might be made the righteousness of God. Well, what is righteousness? Well, he'll reprove the world of sin, of righteousness, of judgment, of sin, because he believes not on me, of righteousness, because I go to my Father. I proceeded from God, came into the world, died on the cross, and went back to the Father. Proceeded from God, went back to God, not beside him, to God. And for the word, uh, he came from God, went back to God, proceeded from the Father, went back to the Father. And uh, then he said there, well, they said, we, I'll show you in that day, I'll show you plainly of the Father. I'll speak no more in Proverbs. I'll speak no more in hard things. I'm going to show you plainly of the Father. When you raise me up, you'll know that the Father's in me and I'm in my Father. You'll know it. Because all that's a father, you've loved the father, all the father has given, has given unto me. That in him should all fullness dwell. All life is in the Son of Man. All judgment is given to the Son of Man. The Son of Man is not some second person of the Godhead. It's not God the Son. It's the Word of God that was revealed to us uh, that we might be made partakers of his divine nature. So, now he dwells in the light, which no man can approach unto. Why? Because God, that man, that Jesus Christ, who was in the days of his flesh, has gone back to his former glory. He is in that light, not around it, not by the side of it. He's in that light, which no man can approach unto, nor see, nor can see. That man has always been God, always will be God. He's in that light, which no man, none of us can enter into. Well, I think we'll be God, capital G-O-D. Well, you're reprobating. You will burn. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm talking to the ones uh, that want this thing, that want to go into the truth, the present truth. Uh, are just contended for the faith that was once delivered to the saints, which God's about to give to the church right now, simply because you've received the word. Amen. Not works of righteousness, which we have done but the righteousness of God by faith that was once delivered to the saints that he has now given that treasure to the church, to those that believe. Well, it's too long for me, preacher. It's too long. I mean, I can only go 30 minutes. Then turn it off. You ain't got no part of it. You are not in it. You're not going to be in it. Turn it off. The preachers that get into this thing, the man and woman of God, the handmaids of God, is going to go back to where? Not only preaching out there behind pulpits, but down those streets out there, and they're going to literally turn nations upside down. Hallelujah. Out there in the streets to the glory that will be revealed in and through you. In a day of darkness and a day of gloom, the Lord said, I'll be a light unto you. You will be for firing the Holy One over you for a flame. And he'll go through. Somebody said, that's the day of the Lord. I'm talking before the day of the Lord, Mr. Hotshot. I'm talking about the fathers to the children and the children to the fathers. What are the fathers? You've known him. That is from the beginning. You know that word. You know that son of man revelation. You know that revelation of Jesus Christ that God gave unto him to show unto his servants the testimony of Jesus, which is the spirit of prophecy in the words of the book of this prophecy. What is that? If you walk in the light, 
as he is in the light. You believe that Jesus is the Father of glory, he's the Word, he's the Holy Ghost, he's God himself, he's the Son of Man, he is the Son of God. And the Son of God has come. The Son of God is that Spirit. The Father is that Spirit. The Word is that Spirit. The Holy Ghost is that Spirit. The Son of God has come, that Spirit. God has sent forth the Spirit of his Son into our hearts. For by we cry of a Father. Hallelujah. The Son of God has come and give us an understanding of him that is true. And we are in him that is true, even in his Son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This is the only true God and eternal life, little children. Keep yourselves from idols. Amen. Thus saith the amen. That's the word forever settled in heaven, sworn seven times over Sheba. That when heaven and earth is burning with melt, fervent heat, the word will stand. The only ones that's going to stand in that day is the one that has that word. For if we walk in the light, walk is not just see it. That's see it and do it. Not only eating the flesh of Jesus, eat that good word of God, tasting of the good word of God and the powers of the world to come, feeling that Holy Ghost power, hallelujah, and the God, but doing his will, the eating the flesh, hallelujah, and drinking that blood. Walking as he walked. If you walk in the light, as he is in the light, not was in the light, the present truth of the word proceeding from God, and man shall live by every word that proceedeth from God. I'm talking about a proceeding word here. I'm talking about present truth that you must be in, and if you don't receive it, you go on your way. I believe prophet so-and-so, follow prophet so-and-so. The ones of you that have a witness of the Holy Ghost on this, praise God, you need to call. We need to get together. But God is calling his body into one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody said, well, how much money you got? We ain't got no money. You after money, go see, uh, go see the Catholic church. Go see somebody else. Go get you a parish verse or somewhere. Get you, get you some pulpit somewhere. Get, be paid a, a, a hired harling. I'm talking about the ones that walk in the light. It's easy in the light. How do you know? How you know you're walking the light? Psalm 89, 15 said, uh, oh, whoa, how do you know you're in the light? How do you know you're walking in the light? How can I know that light is the light of the glory of God? It is Jesus himself that's entered into that light that we might be partakers of his divine nature. Blessed are the people. Psalm 89, 15. Blessed are the people that know Know, know what? Know the joyful sound, the jubilees, the moed, the divine appointments of God, the seasons of God, the feast of the Lord. Blessed are the people that know the joyful sounds. For they shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance. What countenance? Jesus' countenance. Who is that? Only the ones that know the present truth. Is it Pentecostal glory? No. Go way on down the road, not Pentecostal glory. The glory of the former house was a great glory, but it was a moderate rain. But now he's going to cause to come down the latter and the former rain in the first month. What is that former latter rain? It is the power of of the Holy Ghost in fullness, uh, in fullness and demonstration of power of the Holy Ghost through John. Who's John? John. John the Revelator. John the Baptist in the spirit of Elijah. Where are you going, Elijah? Well, Elijah, we're going to have a change of the king, priest, and prophet. When God changes the king, he changes the priest, and changes, changes the prophet. <laughs> When you have a change, you got a change of king, priest, and prophet. Why? Jesus is our king priest. He is a prophet like in the Moses, which a man will not he will hear. He'll live. If he does not hear, he will die. The king, priest, and prophet, what? It's a different season. 
because he does not stay there and keep that light on there and have a grove where God used to move. That's a grove. The prophets of the grove are standing on truth where God used to move, but the light is now shining in greater glory, and they will not go on. That's a grove, prophets of the grove. Talking what God used to do. Revelation 10. John said, I heard seven thunders. Seven thunders, sons of Boagenes. Sons of thunder. Sons of thunder. James and John. James and John, sons of thunder. Natural? No. Lord, be it far from you. You're not going to Jerusalem. He set his face to go to face to go to Jerusalem. There to be crucified. Not so, Lord. Peter, who had the keys to the kingdom, he said, Get thee behind me, Satan. For thou savest the things that be of man and not of God. James and John, they murmured among themselves, Who would be greatest in the kingdom of God? And as they were, Jesus said, Looked around there and said, can you drink of the cup that I'm going to drink of? That's a cup of sufferings. They said, yes, we're able. He said, for me to grant, to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give. Why? Because he's in the days of his flesh. He hasn't been glorified yet. He doesn't know all things yet. He's in our stead. He's one of us. He's, and somebody said, well, he was a, he, he was a man after the, uh, before the fall. He was not a man after the fall. He wasn't one of us. Uh, he was an Adam before the fall. No, he wasn't. And for as much as the children are protectors of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same that in all things. Things. All things he was made like unto his brethren. Tempted in all points like as we are yet without sin. Hallelujah. Death having dominion over him. But now, but now, the blessed and only potentate, that King of kings and Lord of lords, has literally progressively glorified his own human back to himself through divine love, fulfilled the law, took the ordinances of that law that were contrary to us, nailing it to his cross, thereby breaking down the middle wall of partition between God and all mankind, making it himself of the twain, God and all creation, one new man. The new man is a new thing. Are you one with him? The new Man, one new man. That is the son of man revelation. That is Ezekiel, thou son of man. Who is that revelation 19 10? That man that John saw. And he was about to worship him. Well, we're going to get into work in just a minute. Somebody said, well, you're laying what? Laying a groundwork. Who's that man? Who is that man that John the Revelator saw? Who is that man that was seen of angels? Who is that man that was preaching to the Gentiles, believed on in the world? Who is the king of glory? Who is he? Who is that man? John saw him, bowed down to worship him because he saw Jesus. When he bowed down to worship him, he said, See, thou doest it not. I am of thy fellow servants. And thy brethren, what? Yes, that have the testimony of Jesus. Now listen to me, you ministers out there that are listening. The testimony of Jesus is not Acts 2.38. The testimony of Jesus is not 
one scripture in the word of God. It's the whole letting guide it into all the truth, growing up into him in all, all things. That's the reason Paul, knowing the terror of the Lord, prayed every man to repent. But he said in Hebrews 4, they remaineth a rest to the people of God. For if Jesus had given them rest, he would not have spoken of another day. Another day. The time is coming, and now yes, when those hear the voice, the voice, the voice of the Son of Man is the voice of the seven thunders. What is the voice of the seven thunders? What they uttered, they heard the voice of the seven thunders. It was a voice of God. It was a voice of one crying in the wilderness. It was a voice of the Son of Man crying, make straight the path of the Lord. What? Not division. Six things, yea, seven things. The Lord, he that soweth discord among them, brethren, uh, God hates and is an abomination to be. Discord. You flap your jaws. You count your, you're unworthy. You done disqualified yourself. You beat your wife and kick the dog and cuss the cat. You disqualified. You're disqualified. You get up in the morning and you say, ha, ha, another day that I got to put up with. Instead of in all things, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will be glad and rejoice in it. Somebody said, ain't nothing to rejoice about. Not for you, maybe. I won't be in your shoes either. Halarabohishandarabohishata. You have to follow on to know the Lord. You have to grow up into him in all things. To a perfect man, to the measure, the stature of the fullness of Christ. Being led and guided into all truth. Somebody said, we'll understand it in the sweet by and by. You don't get it now, honey. You ain't going to get it. Because whenever you take your last dying breath, that's the same glory you got. There's the same glory you're going into eternity with. Hallelujah. That's the reason God has provided some better thing for us that they without us should not be made perfect. Perfect. It will perfect all those that died in faith having never received the promise. Seven thunders uttered their voices. John was going, whoo, praise God. Sons of Moragines, I've got it. He said, you don't write it. I was about to write it and he said, seal it up. Why? Because that seal is only given to the ones in Revelation 7 that have that seal of the living God. They know the voice of the seven thunders. Get out of my parking space because this is reserved to the people of God. Reserved for the saints of God, the holy ones, and by the decree of the watchers. Thank you, Revelation 8. Prayers of the saints poured out before God. Took coals of fire from the altar. Why? Because we're going within the veil. Why? You're taking the old golden censer. You're putting that dipped incense on it. You're taking the coals off the altar of the burnt offering. And you're going all the way in to the Holy of Holies. To that before God himself. And you will see God. Well, praise God, neighbor. As you can see in the work of God in the last days. It's a great and terrible work that the Lord will do in the earth. Oh, earth, 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 hear ye the word of the Lord. We're talking about the work that God will do in the last days in present truth. A present truth for the body of Christ, not in Pentecost, not the season of Pentecost, but tabernacles, in the season of tabernacles, in the Feast of Trumpets, the ministry voice of Jesus. Our gift offer this month 
will be offer number 240, DBM number 240, for eight hours of preaching on the present truth. That's right, neighbor. The present truth. Walking in the light as he's in the light. Then we have fellowship one with another. The blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. That present truth, the preceding word of God. There as proclaimed in the word of God for the perfecting of the saints and to the measure of the statue of the full surprise have eight hours of preaching here at the Jesus Christ International Church. Therefore, mention BBM number 240 for a gift of $80 or more and we'll get it right out to you. I know that you will be blessed by it as it goes into the hour that we're living in. What is the testimony of Jesus, the spirit of prophecy, the man-child birth, and the work of the ministry of uh, fulfilling the Jesus week of three and a half years, 42 months, time, times and a half, three and a half years. I know that'll be a blessing again. DBM, offer number 240, a gift of $80 or more. We'll get it right out to you. Want to give you an invitation to come to the Gospel Tent Revival in Tatum, Texas. We have three tents. This will be under the small tent right on Highway 49. It's 780 North Hill Street, Highway 149, Tatum, Texas, zip code 75691, 7 p.m. nightly. That's beginning July the 20th through the 29th. I know that it'll be a great blessing to you to be there with us as we bring the DBM team, the ministry team, along with uh, the Adriana uh, Beard, the gospel singers there. I know you'll be blessed. That's July the 20th through the 29th and under the gospel tent. Well, until the next time, this is Brother Dennis Beard saying, Behold the real Jesus.